the location of the Garden of Eden has been a topic of interest and debate among scholars for centuries. While the Bible does not provide a specific geographic location for the Garden, there have been many theories and speculations about where it might have been located. One of the most popular theories places the Garden of Eden in Mesopotamia, which is located in present-day Iraq. This theory is based on the description in the Bible of the four rivers that flowed out of the Garden, including the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, which are both located in the region. Some scholars believe that the other two rivers mentioned in the Bible, the Pishon and Gion, were also located in the region. The Mesopotamian theory is supported by a number of ancient texts, including the Epic of Gilgamesh, which describes a garden of the gods that is located in the same region as the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. In addition, archaeological evidence suggests that the region was home to some of the earliest human civilizations, including the Sumerians and Babylonians, who both believed in a paradise-like garden located in the east. Another theory places the Garden of Eden in the region of the Persian Gulf. This theory is based on the fact that the Persian Gulf was once a fertile valley that was submerged by rising sea levels around 7,000 years ago. Some scholars believe that this valley could have been the location of the Garden of Eden, which would have been submerged by the rising waters. There are also theories that place the Garden of Eden in other parts of the world. For example, some scholars believe that the Garden of Eden was located in Africa, based on the fact that the oldest human fossils have been found on the continent. Others believe that the Garden was located in India or the Americas. Despite these theories, the location of the Garden of Eden remains a mystery. There is no concrete evidence to support any of these theories, and the story of the Garden is largely seen as a symbolic representation of the relationship between God and humanity, rather than a literal description of a physical place. It is worth noting, however, that the location of the Garden of Eden has been a topic of interest for many people throughout history, including explorers and archaeologists. Some have even gone so far as to claim that they have discovered the Garden, although these claims have always been met with skepticism. In recent years, advances in technology have allowed for new methods of exploring and studying the Earth's surface. For example, satellite imagery can be used to map the Earth's surface in incredible detail, and ground-penetrating radar can be used to explore beneath the surface of the Earth. While these technologies have not yet been used specifically to search for the Garden of Eden, they have been used to discover and map other ancient sites and artifacts. It is possible that these technologies could one day be used to shed new light on the mystery of the Garden of Eden and its possible location. In the meantime, the search for the Garden of Eden remains a topic of interest for many people around the world. The story of the Garden continues to captivate the imagination and inspire new theories and speculations, and its influence can be seen in many different cultures and traditions. Whether or not the Garden ever existed in a physical sense, its impact on human history and culture is undeniable.